off the grid for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> right now, my attention is focused on this. Uh, I think it's from 1971. It's a red band uh, 800. Um, has 170 pounds of uh, compression on all cylinders, which I'm sure there's some carbon involved in that. Um, but definitely a very, very healthy uh, block. So um, I've had a couple things. Uh, it had the Motorola ignition system in it with the blue wire, which I don't fully understand how to tr test this trigger. Um, this is the original switch box. I was like, okay, I'll buy a brand new one. So I got an OEM switch box, still no spark. And then the, uh, the coil is different. So I went and bought a brand new coil. You know, matching serial numbers, everything like that for this model. And uh, still no spark. So that leads me to believe that there is a faulty trigger in here, which I do not know how to test on the, uh, like I said, the, the blue wire distributor. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and replace the entire ignition system with a tr tr traditional, uh, the CDI, you know, the 8 with the straight distributor and everything like that. Now the whole engine has been rewired so I'm going to have to rebuild the carbs, redo the fuel lines because they're already cracking or, and or seeing better days. <clears throat> But the block is definitely worth the hunt, so that's what we're working on right now. Okay, so I have everything hooked up. Um, the white wire was a little bit whatever, so I reconnected it. So you have the white, uh, the brown, the black, everything's connected. I got power coming to the red, the red and the white, as you can see. Okay, so now it's time for the moment of truth. Okay. And yeah, so someone sold me a bad distributor. Hmm. Charged me two hundred dollars <laughs> for a bad trigger. Well, I guess that's the gamble you take. All right. So just to make sure that this system is not faulty and it's the distributor, what I did was reconnect the wires. I jumped with the brown, the white, <clears throat> and then connected my test light to the positive. I'm sorry, the, the negative terminal on here, and as you can see, the coil and the switch box are good. So, I got sold a Bobo ass distributor. Alright, so basically, I got sold a uh, Bobo um, distributor here. That I got going on. I even tested all the mechanics. You can know, you know, this, this, because I'm trying to replace the whole CDI electronics. I already spent uh, $200 on a new coil, a new switch box for the <clears throat> the um, the Motorola version of it. I have no way to test the blue wire distributor, but uh, I don't know. I paid like 200 bucks for this, so I'm gonna contact the seller and say, hey, look, you know. <laughs> What's going on, you know? I mean, he has 100% positive feedback, so hopefully he, uh, I don't know, does something because obviously the, the trigger is definitely out on this. Um, <clears throat> and unfortunately, I don't, I don't, I don't have a four-cylinder distributor. I have like every other type of distributor, six-cylinder things like that. So <sighs> hopefully he can, <clears throat> I don't know, either take it back or at least give me some sort of reprieve on it because it definitely does not work. It definitely does not work. And I'm not even sure why I sold it for $200, not even knowing if it worked. I tried to work it on the price. It didn't even come out that way. So, but I guess that's uh, part of the game because there's a supply shortage on like all types of, uh, you know, inline parts and things like that. So I rolled the dice and I lost, which happens, um, <clears throat> unfortunately. So, but I appreciate you guys for watching, and look, I'm going to stay on this engine because this engine is definitely worth the candle, and I want to get it up, I want to make it talk. Alright, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.